What's up? This is Willie, aka Unofficial Ninja. Zach, Romeo 313. Jules, Fade Alexander. And we are back with another Nerdgasm Channel podcast. And today we're going to have a plethora of stuff that we're talking about, including uh, Pokemon 20th, Amiibos, I guess just random Nintendo news, because I know Julie says a lot of different stuff like that, uh, Deadpool and rated R movies, and Fuller House and what we're watching. And then anything watching else. Watching slash reading. Yeah, watching slash reading. Pretty much anything that pops in our head, uh, we'll probably end up talking about it. So let's go ahead and get started. First topic, I think we let Jules just roll with. He's got a lot. We of always to talk we about. always get it out. Get Nintendo news out. Want Nintendo out first, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, no, not necessarily. I you just have a lot of stuff. Well, where to you. begin, right? And Nintendo's always got something going on. So, um, and this year is nothing different, I guess, for Nintendo. So, since hence the festive hat I have on, uh, because today actually, to uh, February twenty seventh, actually marks the twentieth uh, anniversary of the original Jap- Japanese release of. Pokemon, um, and I just went blank. I haven't played any of them. Red, uh, red, what were the first two? Red and, red and, red and, red and, red and green, red and blue? I just went blank. I don't know. I just totally went blank. Purple and pink? I did, purple and pink? I I wish. They haven't made a purple and pink yet. Um, it was red and green. But I was just seeing. Did you guys not play Pokemon? No. Oh, you guys Uh, didn't play Pokemon? No. So, you know Pokemon. I played Pokemon Pokemon. uh, Snap. And watch the cartoons like every day. Will school. we played Pokemon Snap? Shit, I destroyed the Pokemon Snap, Snap stations. I couldn't. And that was not the smartest thing Snorlax. I ever did in my life. I <laughs> never played the game that day. Uh, Snap. Really. Okay. Like I just wish I hadn't done it. I should have never done it. But wake anyway. Up Snorlax. <laughs> wake up Snorlax. But uh, yeah. So today marks the 20th anniversary of Red and Green. <laughs> so. Um, 20th anniversary of Pokemon, so Nintendo, like they do with everything, they are really pushing this franchise for the year of 2016. So um, you're going to see a lot of Pokemon uh, everything. So you saw the Super Bowl commercial. Um, they've got the Pokemon, basically the Pokemon Catch game with your phones. What is that? What's that one called? Anybody know? Remember? Pokemon, uh, Pokemon, Pokemon Go. Yeah. <laughs> Pokemon Go. Why does he feel the need to test us? I mean, we don't know. <laughs> Apparently, I thought maybe. I have no idea. You were you like, like, I know what you're talking about. I couldn't remember the name of it. Because it's kind of like Ingress. You were yeah, that's exactly what it is. They Nintendo bought Ingress and basically said, hey. I, I think that's a brilliant idea. It is. It's yeah, fun. It's and it's already an established franchise. Right. You know, people will do it all over the world. So one of the biggest selling franchises in the world. I mean, so. it won't look like anything like their commercials or like <laughs> the stadium, and they're like, "Let's get that!" What the fucking? Uh, what if they did? did? What if it, it really did? Awesome! Like if they did virtual, like VR images or holograms. Or Everyone's posing. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. Disrupt! But. Disrupt! So Nintendo is re-releasing throw your blue. <laughs> So I'm waiting, sorry, I'm waiting for someone to throw their actual phone. It can't be exactly. Like, gotta oh, catch it. Oh, 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 hopefully I got insurance. <laughs> right? So they're re-releasing blue, uh, oh, I'm sorry, re-releasing red, green, and yellow, I believe. On what platform? Virtual. Virtual download. Uh, really? So it's not, but is it not just going to be on 3DS? Yeah, it's on 3DS because oh, okay. originally it was on Game Boy. Okay. Right? I thought you were yeah. So they're re-releasing them years. for the 3DS. Now you don't have to do your link cables to trade your Pokemon. You can do it wirelessly. So that's kind of neat. So for those of you who want to just relive the nostalgia of playing those original Pokemon games again. Nintendo cashing in. Uh, apparently, right? Yeah. They're so smart. You want to just making it rain? Yeah. Pokemon. Like, ah. Wii U, whatever. <laughs> well, and you know, it, that does more to talk about that. But um, <laughs> So they'll do that. Um, so there's... The year is going to be chuck full of Pokemon stuff. Um, and then, of course, you have um, Pokin Tournament that comes out March 18th. Yeah, now that, I mean, uh, okay, I don't know anything about Pokemon, but, I mean, if it's got that Tekken to it, you know, I'm, I'm down. Well, it's Bandai Namco, developers of Tekken, so it's teamed up. Now you've got, I think it starts out with 11 of uh, 11 playable characters. Um, and a Tekken type fighting element. Imagine Eddie Gordo just like beating the <laughs> shit out of Pokemon. That's no, not fair. That's not fair. It would be cool. Like if they do. A cross. It's not a crossover. But, no, no um, like, they've been doing so many crossover. Like I'm talking. Oh, about you don't think that they'll make DLC, some DLC? Yeah. Like other they'll be like, characters. no, because the whole point is you're could, you launch your Pokemon into the stadium and they fight. You're you not gonna launch have, Eddie Gordo. You're not gonna have your humans don't fight Pokemon. No, that's not gonna happen. That's not even a reality. That's not even a no. 
That is the unedited like new Jap- challenger. That's the, the fight. That's the uh, Japanese season of Pokemon they didn't bring to the U.S. Yeah, no, it was too, <laughs> no, it was too extreme. You got harangued. You know, some people like Pokemon just because y'all never played it. You weren't cool. I like Pokemon. I own two of the nope. games. I don't dislike I own it. Y. I just not, I own Pokemon Y and uh, X. I just haven't played it yet. Wow. Well, anyway, so that comes out next month, or well, I guess soon to be this month, next month, March eighteenth, and it also has that great month, by the way. H O R I. I don't know how to say that. The Hori. Hori. Hori is that how you pronounce it? Mm-hmm. Hori. Um, the, de- the developer of third party peripherals and or mostly arcade sticks. Yeah. And they're well, really well known for their arcade sticks. They're actually developing a new controller for Pokémon Tournament that you connect to your Wii U. And it has what it almost looks like a SNES controller with triggers. But are you going to have to have your uh, Wii Classic Wii Mode to hook into the Wii U, then you have to double Probably. back, suck two guys off in it. They don't know. <laughs> More to come. I don't know. I did pre-order mine through uh, because with Amazon, you know, you get twenty percent off the game and twenty percent off the controller. Well, I don't know if they gave me twenty percent off the controller, but they probably will when I call. Um, so, <laughs> I don't think your price changes now. <laughs> and that's what they do. Actually, they're pretty cool. But um, fair so, enough. So yeah, so now everybody, if you haven't noticed online, all the prices for Pokemon stuff is going up. Um, but I guess we'll see. So, but that's 20 years of a Pokemon, so that's fun. No, people excited. have been really nostalgic. Like every, almost, I know you posted something about it earlier, like one of the commercials mm-hmm. almost brought tears to your eyes. Well, and then I've seen like so many other ones, like people who have posted stuff about it, have, uh, that's pretty much what their sentiments have been, like uh, that the tears have been coming to our eyes. This is so sad and nostalgia and stuff. And so uh, I guess it really has had an effect. To Pokemon has touched people. Well, if you think about it, 96, some of us were like 14, 15 years old. So, you know, we were kind of getting into games. That was, for was me, Pokemon. 10. Um, Pokemon kind of was a little bit of a, a RPG, because that's essentially what it was. You know, an RPG that I could actually sit down and play and not feel like I was overwhelmed. And it was pick up and play and go um, with a consistent storyline that was kind of fun to play. You know, it was massively successful. And they've re-released that game over and over and over and over and over, and over again. Yep. <laughs> the formula works, right? It's a massive acclaim. I mean, yeah, the formula it, works. it sells. That was probably Nintendo's biggest acquisition um, was Pokemon. It made them. It's made them so much money. It keeps making them money. Yeah. Um, and that's one of the reasons, I think, why Nintendo really decided to kind of gear it, t- everything kind of towards little kids. That's... Kind of became their demographic, you know, for a while. Well, if you think about it, it's 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 like any kind of gateway, anything. You know, if you capture the kid early and they really love it, they will continue to love it as they get older, and that's exactly what they're doing. Because now the people twenty years later that are buying all this again are the people that they caught twenty years but ago. Can you believe that it's that old? Yeah. Are these little kids now that first played it? <laughs> yeah. So I'm just super excited about get it. Get off my lawn, you damn kids! <laughs> I'm super excited about it. So. Um, I actually went through and dug out some of my um, old Pokemon things. I found my Pokemon Stadium for my N64 with my uh, transfer pack for my Pokemon Yellow and so forth, which I played like five hours in. I really thought I played a lot more, but my game save only had five hours. So Julius doesn't play games. He starts a lot. He I starts do. a ton of games. I start a lot of them. It's very rare that I finish one, but when I do finish it, boy, it must have been really good. What's the point? You can't get sucked into a story long enough? They don't really have storylines anymore. Games don't have storylines anymore. Uh, I disagree. I, the, the one, let me rephrase. The ones I play don't have storylines anymore. Stop playing those. Huh? <laughs> Stop playing those. Well, I don't have time to invest in playing the ones that take too long. Well, I mean, I just beat Deadpool. Probably took maybe eight hours. Yeah. You know, but not all in one go. You know, you did 30 minutes here, 30 minutes there, 20 minutes there, an hour here. My attention span isn't long enough. So I... He's got that attention deficit. Oh, what's that? <laughs> so I will see that and play a game. <laughs> I will sit down and play a game, and then, you know, two uh, not even two hours in. An hour in, I'm like, oh, I'm bored. I want to play something else. And I go get a different game. It would be game. interesting to watch both of y'all play a game together. Like, and just see how oh, long like, it's a, like a game game? Yeah, like how we've been yeah. streaming it. Like, like I don't think we've been through The Jules and Zach show. <laughs> <laughs> it's been two months. Y'all haven't even made it through the first chapter. <laughs> Well, because he's not a hunt and finder, and I am, so that takes me an hour to beat one stage because I want to find everything in there. Same here, but I so, go back after we play. But I did. What did I just beat? I did beat one game. What did I just beat? I just beat, and I'm actually playing it again, trying to 100% it. What was that? Um, you did. South, Park. South Park. So I did beat South Park, and that was amazing. This so is the truth. That was amazing, and I'm almost 100% on that game. So that's a 1,000 gamer score. I never do that. Hey, when Firewatch gets cheap, guys, it's it's a uh, it's. I ordered that. Fun. I bought it. 
I bought that. Yeah, I bought that because I had somebody, uh, Talia gave me a Sony card for Christmas. All right. And like, like, let me do a, a pro tip for you. If you have a PS4, at least, probably with uh, Xbox also, but if you log into someone's PlayStation with your profile or whatever, they'll have access to any of your online games as long as they just log into that profile. So, like, since I'm logged into his computer or his PlayStation 4, if he wanted to, he can log in under me and access any of my games. Like, I have Firewatch on my PlayStation. I have it on mine, too. I bought it. I didn't buy it. I just downloaded the one that he had. What? Like, as, like profile. Like, you know how when you, like, you can have guests, like, if you're playing the well, where, did, you, did you try it out? Um, I didn't want to, I didn't want to end up, like, Oh, accidentally, yeah, game. so I didn't, but yeah, it works. Huh. That's how I was playing um, our, our um, the Until Dawn, because the save file, since you're playing it on your system, it saved all that to yours, so if I wanted to play it, like, to try to save the people where we already beaten, I had to, I would have to start all the way over, so I just logged in under your profile on my PlayStation and was able to access the memory huh. and play it. Because you yeah. stored it to the cloud. Yeah, the memory to the cloud, and then, like, yeah, it also let me download, uh, like, your Firewatch and stuff, and I was like, I'm going to ask him sometime if he minds if I just play it, because you said it was, like, three, four hours? Did you beat it already? Yeah, yeah I beat it the first day I got it. So like, there's people who've been beating it on, like, downloading it from Steam. I saw someone posted, they downloaded it from Steam quicker than the uh, the return policy time frame. I think it's, like, th you have three hours or whatever to cancel a game and return it on Steam. Beat it. They beat it before that, and so <laughs> they can actually return the game. And after they've already beaten it, that's well, kind that's of a that's kind of, I mean, It was a four dollar game. I know. I, I, it wasn't four dollars. I got it on sale. <laughs> it was not four dollars. It was a. Did I? Did I remember? You when sent I that ticket. Hey, I'm playing Firewatch. It's on yeah. sale right now. But like you said it wasn't that much. You said the discount's not that much. I have the text thread. Yeah, but the game's not expensive. The game was nineteen ninety nine. It's not. I don't think it's nineteen ninety nine anymore. It was when I bought it. Well, good for you. Huh. Oh well. Did anyone or maybe it was like drop? six dollars. I don't know. <laughs> Again, it doesn't really matter. The game was fun, uh, and it that game had nothing to do with trying to, you know, you don't fight anything. You literally just you create a story, and that's the only way that I can really describe it because your conversation with uh, Delilah, the other person on the on the, on the line, yeah, um, <laughs> is basically the story, and you create that based on your choices, and it's really good. I mean, I, I really enjoyed it. Hmm. Anyways, yeah, that's completely out of Yeah, off top. Yeah. You can continue your Nintendo. So, well, yeah, Pokemon. So if you're a Pokemon fan, 20 years, awesome. Go find it. Have fun. Um, also, Pokemon tournament, but later holiday season, so I'm assuming that's going to be around Christmas time or holiday time. Uh, they're releasing the new Pokemon series, which, like Zach will say, they'll just recreate it over and over again. But new Pokemon game, you have Moon and Sun. So Pokemon Moon. Oh, Pokemon. that's holiday? Yeah, holiday 2016. So Pokemon Moon and Sun, so you have a new version or a new chapter. I bet you're going back to Kanto, though, so who knows. But Pokemon Sun and Moon. I'm getting Sun, so I think Nathan's getting Moon, so that'll be fun, so we can trade back and forth. I'm sure Becky will get one of them. She'll probably get Moon. But If you're a true fan, you'll get both. I've never been that true of a fan. I've never had both of any it's of them. It's because of the same games minus, what, a couple things? But so curious to see um, what amiibos will come associated with these new Pokemon games. I will not. I, this is where I will call it in to my amiibo challenges. I will stop buying amiibos when they start making them for Pokemon. Each and every other Pokemon. I can't. Do it. That's just. You think it'll go that far? <laughs> I already know something. They have, a, they have a full roster of the like the first twelve that they're gonna have come out. You gotta catch them all. No, not me. Obviously not the <laughs> biggest <laughs> fan. <laughs> I am a big fan of Amiibos, not not so much Pokemon. He, like that. he says that right now, but I'm not going to. They're gonna release some like really cool one. No, I'm not going to. I've that works said. in every single Nintendo game, and you're going like, fuck. I'm not doing it. I can't. I can't afford it. And Miyamoto's gonna like go and whisper in your ear, "Oh, Julius, you know you want a piece." They've already released what they look like. Oh, jeez. So, I uh, I can't can't do it. Can't do it. Not gonna do it. But speaking of amiibos. Oh yes. So before Mega That's Man. An amiibo. Yeah, it's an amiibo with the the legacy game. But so this is a new amiibo that came out. Nintendo, you know, and their amiibos. I was actually kind of disappointed with the boxing, um, but. Like, I don't, what were you disappointed about the box? The box in and of itself is awesome. 
So I really like the box. But this is the piece that I'm talking about. Is that oh, like it? Was it? No. Uh, no, no, no. No, oh, the no. blank, oh. the blank amiibo thing. The amiibo that it was in the box. I thought that was a Rick James moment. <laughs> you know, they're like, he's like, uh, how, why would I be fucking with my feet on his couch? Yeah, I remember putting my feet on his couch. Sorry. So yeah, no. I get it. Though. I get it. It was. It's all awesome and pretty, but the amiibo itself has no box art. But it is a. It is a gold Mega Man Amiibo that works with the new um, Mega Man Legacy game, which has Mega Man, the original, one, make them, make them, make them. two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So that, they're all here. Seven? I thought it was oh, I'm six. sorry, six, sorry. Okay. Seven's not in there, sorry. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So they're all there. You can play them if you're a big Mega Man fan. Um, it also came with these, I thought were really kind of neat. Postcards. Uh, postcards. So there's Mega Man postcards in there as well. Is there a, so there's no CD disc? I thought the soundtrack was going to be on a CD. I, I guess it's in the it's, game. I believe it's a download. Oh. A download. Well, that's cool. Let me know. And you've got six postcards. Uh, Mega, Man. Mega Man was an amazing game. Uh, Great. Music. It also has four stickers in there too. Little eight bit stickers inside that bag. Maybe you're supposed to put the stickers on the case. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows. <laughs> the do it yourself uh, yes. collector's amiibo box. It's, it's all like fucking. It's it's like all off, but centered. The so reviews have been kind of mixed on this game. Um, some people said they really loved it. Some people said they really didn't love it. Some people said it was glitchy. It was kind of. Isn't it all the games that have already been released? Yes. So you expect it to be kind of glitchy, but some people were saying, well, they thought it would be an HD collection because it's now. Um, on a 3DS. I don't have want 3D to see elements. them really do that. And they didn't do that. You know, it's basically they took the game, they put it on a port, and they put it some nice little pic art around the frame, and then you get to play the game. You get to play it in all this nostalgia, even as lag down times, like you did in the other ones. So. Well, if you took the lag away on some games, there was, you know that, I can't remember what boss, that big Sandman dude with the eye, and mm -hmm. you hit the lightning, and you have to hit select. That mm -hmm. lag actually helps you beat the box. Yeah. A boss, so, so I'm sure that they couldn't mess with it too much. So they're saying, I kind of wish that the X series was on there. At least, I do too. At least, at least X1. X1. Yeah, for, was that PlayStation or Super Nintendo? That was Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo. Yeah, I would like to have seen that on there. Um, but And this is the Legacy Collection for him. Is this for his... Is he 28 also? I can't remember. It's got to be old. Or 20, right? I don't know. I don't remember. But because um, this year, Fifth, actually... Fifth, maybe? I feel bad for people like um, Metroid... And uh, or Samus and Mega Man because they're all this would be their like 25 and 30 years or 25 I think for both of them, but they're getting overshadowed by the 20 years of Pokemon. Pokemon. So, but oh well, they've been well, around for a long it time. It is what it is. So, so that's the new Pokemon. I'm, I'm sorry, that's the new Mega Man. Mm -hmm. So I was super happy about that new Amiibo to add to my collection. So that was. And I got it too, and I literally Amiibo I player. Yeah. But it's neat to have. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's got it I pre-ordered it a while back. But um, And then um, new Amiibo coming out March 18th. So March 18th is a big day in Nintendo. Um, Roy. Roy from Fire Emblem, I believe. Um, but he's actually for the Super Smash Brothers series. But his Amiibo will be coming out on March 18th as well. So Nintendo should just open up like a, an Amiibo house. On the corner, <laughs> you just go in like a crack house. It's like every, like I see so many people coming in and out of that house. Yeah, that's an amiibo house. Yeah, just because it's pretty much out. what it's like. So, but that's March 18th. So, and I think Roy, I, unless they make a cloud, Bayonetta and uh, Ryu or Ryu, depending on how you pronounce it, um, or where you're from, I guess. If those three get amiibos. Roy may be the last amiibo for the Super Smash Brothers series, but that has not been confirmed or denied yet. So, who knows? But I guess we'll find out. What um, what amiibo at this point do you lack any of them, or are you completely current? Who me? Yeah, oh, I got them all. Yeah, uh, there's not any that I need. Like I said, he had to catch them all. Yeah. So he's gonna get. There's the not Pokemon's. any that I need. He's gonna get the Pokemon when they come out, son. There aren't any that I need. Just talk to, to mom. Mom, come on. Give me some Pokemon. Give me some Pokemon amiibos. So, yeah, I haven't. There's not any that I need. Now, there are amiibo cards that I still need. See, this motherfucker will be laughing all the way to the bank if those ever, like, at some point in the future get to the point where, like, man, all those people that collected them for a while, you know, they made fun of, now they're worth a lot of money. 
Or, or they could go the, the way of Beanie Babies, too. Yeah. So. There'll be a, a part where it finally just plateaus, so you got to be careful. You gotta watch that I can will you. Monkey. One day I can just see it and go, somebody sold me his complete collection for $10. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Nintendo, or Nintendo, Nintendo, Julius would be like, you motherfucker. I just called Julius Nintendo. <laughs> that sounds about right. They're starting to merge together into one. One bean. I don't know where Nintendo is. Julius all right. Oh, Did you do your Wolf Link? Your Wolf Link. I forgot about Wolf Link. So Twilight Princess HD collection that comes out HD. March fourth. Yeah, March fourth. So and I forgot about Wolf Link. So Wolf Link Amiibo will be with that with Midna. So Midna. Midna. I know I've never played that one. It's good. I've never played. I watch. Well, the only one I've ever played is Link, Link to the, the Past. So it's Same good. Here. That's the best one. In my opinion. My personal. Well, how do you know? You haven't played any of those. <laughs> I own and started all of them. I just okay. well, and I, oh, and I guess I beat Majora's Mask. I beat Majora's Mask. Wow, that that's. I beat that one, and that was I was like, if this is the barometer that Link it's, games are set to, this is not, not very good. <laughs> I was like, this is not very good in my personal opinion. But Majora's uh, Mask. Some people Mask. like that. Some oh. do, but I, I. I mean, it's got its following, but it is literally probably one of the. Most, it's the second most hated game in the series. I would say which one before that Zelda 2 oh well yeah duh I forgot about that one but yeah I was not a fan I beat it because someone told me well you can't beat it and you won't understand it because you never played what was it Ocarina of Time I was like well I can beat any game if I put my mind to it and so I sat down and beat it with the fierce DD mask I might add and um uh, thinking cap on but yeah so but it definitely was not I was like wow this has got the following it has but so what's our uh, I think he had one more topic that he was wanting to do. Yeah, I kind of forgot. What's your other topic you were going to do? No. no. Uh, you don't want to talk about your prison school or something? Well, that's well, like yeah, what we're, we're going to talk about. What like, we're, we're reading and watching. watching. Oh, I thought that was going to be like when we talked about the Funimation thing. No, or we can do it then. I don't care. All right. Um, let's go then. What's the... Um, there's something else, isn't there? Not for me. Okay, what was I talking about? I know what it was. We're gonna do oh, R-rated, R-rated movies. Well, we see who came prepared to the podcast. Hey, I texted y'all and like, we need to come up with stuff. I, oh, we got plenty of stuff to talk about. Um, yeah, R-rated movies. So like Deadpool and its effect, its success, how it's affecting R-rated movies um, in the future. Uh, I can feel this one for a little bit anyways. All right, so Deadpool obviously it made a ton of money. Way more money than they actually thought. Uh, on a lower budget, big budget movie. Yeah, you know, I think it was what fifty something million, fifty three million. Um, and it's obviously like tripled that already. How now, much do they usually? Sorry, how much do they usually put into like super hero? Hundred, hundred plus. No, uh, uh, like million. Avengers was two hundred fifty million, I think, to make that movie. Holy, wow. So, but you got to think, that's Robert yeah. Junior cost mm-hmm. seven or eight, you know, ten. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Uh, I think that the main issue with me and the whole rated art thing is, well, one, studios, uh, I'll give you a little insight in Hollywood, what they do is they, they're just, it's one big copycat, you know, um, thing in Hollywood where something takes off, they're going to try to emulate it and do whatever they possibly can to try to find that level of success. The problem with Deadpool is it's kind of unique in the sense that you know, everybody was talking about, oh, it's a rated R movie, and I think a lot of people's minds, the thing that they go to that made it R was the fact that it was violent. And it was violent, but it wasn't anything out of the ordinary. In fact, you see that a lot worse in, like, movies Taken. like Kill Bill or Taken. and stuff like that. Yeah. It was the profanity. Yeah. And nobody talks about that. It drives me nuts. Like, well, you know, we wanted, you know, these R-rated movies, it's all about... Um, Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Yeah, what? this the very minimal nudity in sex. Yeah. But it's it. It, it was the it, context and the language of that movie. That it, made it really oh wrong, yeah. So. Oh yeah. No, don't get me wrong. I mean, you can't show that much. In a like you did have full nudo, uh, nudity though. Like in the I, mean, do, but, yeah. I mean, yeah, but it wasn't like it was a strip joint. You know, the, the strip joint. Usually they have bottoms on in most of the movies. That's though. true. They usually I do mean, have bottoms. I mean, barely got to see much. I mean, it's, it's but you still it was still there in my theater. They paused it, zoomed in. And the cl- like everyone clapped, and they're like, yeah, yeah, and then he backed back out and continued the movie. Anyways. Uh, Not really, I'm just, no. <laughs> just messing. Anyways, so my, my deal is the violence wasn't a big deal. Uh, not in that movie, and probably not in the movies that 
you know, warranted. An R-rated movie and a comic book property can coexist. There's movies like Wolverine, like you said, should have been rated yeah. R. Wolverine, um, that's his character. But if you think about a Captain America movie, no, I mean, it should never be rated R. Yeah, you don't you don't want to really see a rated R Captain mm-hmm. America or Spider Man for that, no, exactly. that matter. Those are light. A Batman, fun books. I could totally see as a rated. Batman R Batman was a rated R movie, wasn't wasn't the Christopher no. Nolan Batman's a rated R, or were they PG thirteen? Oh, they've okay. never done an R. Okay, I uh, thought they were. Okay, my deal is here's how that works. If you really wanted to push them both, because Batman versus Superman uh, is going to have an R rated cut. Blu-ray. Uh, Blu-ray. Mm-hmm. It's going to be the bad guys cursing, and there's going to be a little more over-the-top violence. Mm-hmm. And that'll get you R pretty quickly, honestly. Yeah, what is it? Language. I don't remember how many F-bombs you can I drop I think in a movie two. To get a radar. Yeah. So. so, I mean, do we need to see that? I mean, I'm not looking for hyper-violence when I watch a Avengers, you know, uh, I don't think it sits in the realm. You know, it doesn't sit in the realm of that particular character type. There are some character types in the comic book world that may now make an appearance into the movie world because of what Deadpool has done. Sure. Um, you know, I could see them Lobo. maybe... Lobo. Lobo, they'd have to really establish that universe first. But, yeah, Lobo would definitely be... Lobo is basically DC's Wolverine, right? So he would easily be a... Oh, okay. he, would, he would easily be a... Rated R character. His book would be a rated R book. His book, his good books would be a rated R book. So yeah, you could easily see that. You know, you've got like Joker could get his own movie. Definitely rated. R. <coughs> you know, you could see the Suicide Squad. I could see now Suicide Squad possibly getting a rated R. You know, yeah. um, yes, there are certain, but certain, it won't. It won't. No, it won't because it's going to tie into the other, the Justice League and so forth probably later. But certain books, yes, deserve a rated R. Deadpool was the exception rather than the rule, in my opinion. Deadpool, I agree. He, he should have been rated R. You could not have made a Deadpool movie without it being rated R. Oh, you R. could have made it PG-13, but it wouldn't it have been would, good. It wouldn't have been successful. Um, so, I mean, that was just a one big love his letter. Tag line, his tagline is Merc with a Mouth. He's a yeah. mouth because he talks crassly, vulgarly, and or he's very vulgar. And that's just, that's it. So, yeah, I, I, I like that he was rated R. He should be rated R. The rest of these worlds should not be rated R at this time. Which brings in the question, do you think a second Deadpool movie, after they've already kind of struck gold, do you think that it would still Hold be up. as good? No, not, not at all. And I've, I've, this is my same thing I say with every movie that has a sequel. It is very rare that you get a movie that has a sequel that lives up to its predecessor because you now have an expectation. Not that the movie wasn't as good as its predecessor, but before it came out, you didn't have an expectation. Then you've seen it, you now have an expectation. No matter how you want to take that out of your mind and put it away, you have an expectation of this movie, so you expect it to be it's as like good. It's like Jurassic Park. Hard to see see it for the first time. Exactly. Again. It's what? literally the same thing. Jurassic Park, I, the first I, I one, that. was amazing because you hadn't seen anything like it before. So every other Jurassic Park after that will not be as good. The only thing that they could do is, and the one, they need to start working on it now. Yeah. They need to do it while the stream of consciousness and people are talking about it. I mean, mm-hmm. just they jump on it. Yeah. Uh, it got greenlit, but like, they're, I mean, like. Still, and they got to cast an awesome cable. Yeah. If they're going to do it, they got to have, cable has to be spot on. I'm but sure I think. Reynolds already had a sequel in mind. Oh, I'm it. sure. Uh, but Ten my years deal in the is, making, right? is like, you got to just do not necessarily more of the same, and you don't need to top yourself in the, in the sense that, you know, uh, be doing something over the top or something mm-hmm. kind of like a, a jackass it's not a stunt movie necessarily yeah. what you need to do is keep things more the same but make sure it's stuff that you would want to see that character mm-hmm. do yeah. if he does something over the top and dumb then yeah it wouldn't do so well and if you haven't seen Deadpool I don't want to spoil it for you but go see it's the movie it's amazing good. I, I if still you're prefer a... the Deadpool from Wolverine Origins <laughs> you're kidding right are you, are you, what, 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 what? I think he was cooler it was a bastard. He's like Baraka. Yeah, because that like, never happened. What, what, huh? That's not Deadpool. I don't, I don't think I understood what he said. What he said <laughs> a, the Wolverine Origins Deadpool is his favorite. You got something in your hair. Oh, fuzz. Yeah. Um, so wait. No, I, I'm maybe just I, didn't see I, just, I, just, I know, I know. I just I wanted to see you all kick me off the panel. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, you were joking. It was yes. so bad. What, and like, one good thing was that was Ryan Reynolds, and it was still Ryan Reynolds. So I oh, like he that. Said, you know, in interviews, I like he said that. that he had to do that if he ever wanted to see a Deadpool movie of his own. Well, The studio it worked. basically held him hostage on that one. It worked. <laughs> it worked. He got what he wanted. He played so many superheroes. He's played three, two. That's still, like, in the Not first really. movies, though, bombed. 
It's, it's kind of like, well, the Green Lantern wasn't good. I'll be the first. So I'm kind of like, well. Surprised let's talk about that. So we, we 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 can bridge from Ryan Reynolds, Seven Degrees of Kevin Bacon. We can bridge from Ryan Reynolds mm, to um, Deadpool to Green Lantern. Honestly, really, was the Green Lantern movie that bad, or did I they just seen it. or did they really just have a really horrible villain? Mm, I don't think I the movie was it. all that good. And the um, honestly, like, here's the thing: his suit looked like shit. But I really liked everybody else's CGI. Like what's oh his, yeah, Sinestro. Sinestro, yeah, yeah, he yeah, looked there's good. The, they looked he really looked awesome. kind of spot on. Yeah, it was just kind of. And you know, here's the thing, and this is probably the thing about Ryan Reynolds and why he was born to play Deadpool is he has that awesome comedic um, delivery that, that he's used natural. in almost every fucking movie since Van Wilder. Yeah. So think of Van Wilder as a superhero, and you have Deadpool. That's Deadpool. Essentially. Mm -hmm. But here's where it doesn't work. Movies like Blade Three. Wasn't a fan of that movie. Uh, not necessarily because of him, but um, I Ooh, mean. You just struck gold. Blade is a rated R superhero movie. That's that everybody's point. forgotten about. That is a very good point. So that, that was the very first. Yeah, Blade was uh, a rated, rated R, R superhero, superhero movie. But it was the first like big Marvel property, too, to start making. To do well. Yeah. To do well, yeah. Well, it, it predates Spidey, too. Yeah, it does. Because that was 90, what, 8? 98? 99. 99, 98. Huh. But, I mean, Ryan Reynolds good point. was in three, wasn't really a fan of the movie itself. Uh, but that's just been his character. He's uh, he's always that character. He's yeah. charmingly witty. Mm -hmm. And crass. And crass, yeah. But, um, I, I, yeah, I don't know where we're going. But you're going to see it. You're going to see Hollywood try to do, they're going to try to rediscover that formula that worked for this movie, and they're kind of mm -hmm. fucked because you can't. I don't, I think it's impossible. What are the... Like the new newest ones that I've heard are going to be rated R now are the Blu-ray director's cut or whatever of Batman v Superman. Um, they're going to release as rated R. Um, the Wolverine, the next Wolverine three, the last Zelda Wolverine, is. the last Holy Jackman. Uh -huh. yeah. And I'll tell you right now, duh, it should have been radar for should have been radar from the beginning. And That's Logan's character. And then what I found out recently is the remake or the re uh, the live action. Death Note movie um, from Warner Brothers Studios, I think, is doing oh, it. Oh, are yeah. they do? Are they literally taking on a? Yeah, Which is surprising to me that they would pick that particular title to bring as a live action to the stage. I don't know if it's. I'm trying to figure out if it's the U.S. Warner Brothers or if it's the uh, like Japanese okay. Warner Brothers section. From the article, I, it, I, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't get be. U.S. from that article. I didn't even hear. But it. I, like before, before that article that I yet. shared, uh, I thought the previous ones that I've seen. Was that right? Ninety-eight. <coughs> no, the I previous ones that I saw actually said it was going to be a U.S. company is making it or whatever. Uh -huh. A U.S. person is directing it and stuff. But yeah, so they recently announced that it's going to be rated R, which. Kinda could work because Death Note, if you don't sure. know, is like kid finds a death uh, a notebook from a Death Shinigami Death God where if you write someone's name in there, they'll die either by the way that you uh, say they will or within I think it's forty seconds if you don't put any um, thing in the any way of how they die, they'll die in like forty seconds from a heart attack. So there's a lot of death and violence in that actual. Well, you actually stuff. bring up a really good point on um, these like let's say anime. So the people that are like, oh, Deadpool, rated R, blah, 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 and all the violence. Take, a, take an anime like Full Metal Alchemist. I think that's oh, way that's gorier awesome. than Deadpool. You saw some decapitations and some limbs, maybe, but it's everything so fast that it wasn't, to me, like, I didn't think it was, it was not like a kill. So you're talking about Brotherhood, right? I uh, the first one's actually kind of it's pretty, too, but, pretty yeah, but uh, Brotherhood's the grittier one uh, of, of the two. Because I don't, I don't. Maybe it's just because of the nostalgia element of from Full Metal Alchemist, the original series, not Brotherhood. I don't remember it being violent at all. I don't remember because it's that. like it's, bloody it's, and stuff. it's not. It's not like uh, it's not so violent that you wouldn't let your kid who's like twelve or something or watch it. But like with Brotherhood, shh. <laughs> <laughs> thing is, yeah. Um, and plus, Pull mm. of the Alchemist has scenes that just make you have the feel. It's psychological. It's psychological. Like, whenever the it's not like Helsing. It's like, uh, <laughs> so Japan, the crafty people in Japan decided to do uh, their, what I would like to say is their take on Freddy versus Jason, which is the <laughs> ring versus the grudge. Yeah, ring so versus Yuan. You're, you're kind of literally like, uh, Oh, fuck would that work? <laughs> was the Grudge watch a videotape? Yeah, like, I think fuck. from that preview, oh, it kind of looked like they took 
they went to the house where the it's not, the grudge it's doesn't takes even look place like, yeah. and they put in the video. But it doesn't look so like they, those two are, are fighting. I think it's like everybody else that's <laughs> fighting. It's, it's literally like, hey, fuck you guys. Like, <laughs> what are you, one at a time, you both are going to kill us, you know, or could kill us. Like, I, I don't like, I don't really like those two movies. Yeah, series, Ringu versus I, I kind of Juan. Versus Godzilla. You I, I kind of want to watch right watch those though because I want to see how like you were saying I, how they the Japanese versions are good. I loved the Ringu seen and them. I just I loved them. What was there's Ringu and Juan and there was a third one that didn't. It was do the as well. yeah because they remade it here mm-hmm. and with Jessica Alba yeah. about water. Oh, was that dark water? Or something? Yeah, dark d- something, something, like, something that. like that. Dark water. And then they had a third one which was the eye, but whatever. Uh, uh, that's right. I just but, like yeah. they're scary really like because it basically just looks like somebody I laughed at Ring. I laughed yeah. at the ring with the fly and the eye. I was like, "This is so." It wasn't shit. really my favorite. Actually. But I would like. I I, I, I heard about cat. that. Heard about it on the radio, and I am actually excited to see the Ringu and Juwan. I I, I, think, I, think, I think it'll, it'll be, be interesting. Fun. I think it'll be, it'll be fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, rated R comic movies. Um, yeah. I I am not. You know, I'm a huge, probably the biggest comic book fan on the panel, and I really don't. It's not something that I would. I said, like I said, exception rather than the rule. So we'll see. We know that Disney won't do that. So we know that the the Avengers properties and and the Iron Man properties and all of those that they have are safe. So, um, so but I mean, who wouldn't want to see Captain America? What the fuck? <laughs> well, but see, that's the point. He wouldn't do that. You I, know? I know. So, I'm just kidding. I'm playing with you, Jules. But I, I would I would I don't know. Deadpool, yes, it worked for Deadpool. Yeah, I don't think if you bring work. in other characters, it may work for other characters. But I mean, you'd have to be like we're talking like. Because Marvel and DC both have they have their dark their, their, their darker side. darker stuff, um, you know. Even in the books, a more swamp thing would probably be yeah rated R. Um, Could be. You know, it's kind of like the Watchmen. Obviously, Watchmen was a rated very rated R. Uh, in fact, I thought that was way like worse. Sin City, same Sin deal. City, yeah. Sin City was way gory. Sin City had just Deadpool concept that you kind of like. Oh, okay, yeah. You know, and I like both those movies. I didn't like The Watchmen, but I did like Sensei. I like The Watchmen. I just got tired of seeing Billy Crudup's blue, Mr. Manhattan's blue ch- dongle flowing around all the time. Like, I'm so tired of seeing this big blue. <laughs> just, it's just, you know, extreme close ups of, <laughs> of the dick swinging while they're. Although, they're, there was a bunch of. Did you guys see that? And you both saw, and you saw it twice, which tells you how good the movie is. Zach actually went to the theater and saw the movie twice. Let alone once. What are you talking about, um, Ryan? Ryan Reynolds' Reynolds dongle. I mean, it, no, it's, I it's, you it. can see it, but it's not like it's still there. It's, it's not like you can make anything out. You just see basically I, a silhouette of it. There was a scene where he fought with it. Where, where he where he fought with his penis? Yeah, he just like, like grabbed it and just like ah, slapped people in the face and everything. Okay, all right. Oh, so, but yeah, I don't know when we saw that scene. Yeah, maybe that was in your right. dreams. <sighs> Yeah, he was smacking you with it. <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah, um, I don't think that I think studios are going to find out really quickly. Unless it's not about the rating, it's about respecting the property. And I think that's what made Deadpool so successful. I, I think that's one hundred percent. Yeah, because respect, the fans were like, "Wow, respect the literature, mm-hmm. and you'll you'll do fine." As long as it has you know a fan base. Yeah. And I mean, like, you can't attend a con without seeing. Like, 50 dead pools. Yeah, and now you'll see 5,682. Yeah. It'll be all over. You don't have to really... I'm not saying that you don't have to put a lot of work into it, but you get to cover your face up. Yeah, that's true. Which is kind of a nice thing when you're at a con. Although, now, I just... I'm going to go as a Deadpool cosplaying as a Deadpool. You, that'd be funny. Meta. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what else are we talking about? I'm just, I'll just throw this out to see if y'all want to talk about it or not. Uh, YouTube's like copyright strikes system and stuff. I don't know. What I mean, I you would, have no you would need to kind of go into detail. Like, I'm like, um, here, you know, uh, Team Four Star recently, I think, what, Tuesday or something, had their channel hit with like four copyright strikes back to back by Toy Animation for their, uh, their Dragon Ball Z Bridge videos and stuff. And with YouTube, if you get four strikes, it automatically deletes your channel, and it's happened to them in the past and stuff too. And they got it back on. It. Yeah, you had they had to fight it, but they got it back up the next day. But there's been here lately several like YouTube uh, 
personalities, like big YouTube channels and smaller ones, who have been getting hit with this copyright uh, strikes and either losing their channel, losing features like monetization. But is that, like that is that a YouTube deal or is that the company that? It's it's a it's kind of a mix. Is it an algorithm that's just basically trying like yeah, automatic? Yeah, it's, it's it? automatic, but it's um, companies who submit the strike. Like, there's basically no type of um, repercussions for a company that does say like oh this vi uh, video is stealing my uh, footage or whatever uh, they can submit that strike YouTube system you know catches it so when you say strike you mean like a, a slap on the wrist kind of, yeah, yeah. I'm like saying hey this person strike four I'm, strikes you're out I was thinking strike like, and they, like okay. each strike so you're saying the company is actually still doing that yeah the companies um, are putting in the strike the strikes and then YouTube's automatic system will also catch stuff too and say like oh, this company is claiming okay. that this is their okay. footage. Okay, so, I don't know. So, so what's, what's, your, what's, your, what's your question? I don't think. The question is, question. like, oh, I'm just seeing if y'all wanted to discuss it, the fact that YouTube system is there for a reason, we know, because they don't want to get sued if someone's saying mm -hmm. someone uh, took their material. But it's also, um, there's, like, fair use for, for stuff, well, too. Or are they just redubbing? Well, they're the actually episodes? completely, they're, like, cutting them, Cutting, moving things around, and make like syncing up well, the voices of the stuff. I don't know. There's even people you would have to. Get, you would you would need like the express consent, express written consent, kind of like red versus no, blue. Like Microsoft and and uh, Bungie were like, oh, run with it. But there's there's fair use, like and like with the definition of like fair use. If you're completely transforming the source material into something else, then you can. Use it. Not, if, the, not if you didn't develop the character. You still have to be have that. Those characters' properties are owned by the company that made the property. But with fair use, uh, use there's also like parody built in there. If you're using something for yeah, like but you, they were education. Sure, if they hand drew all that shit out, no, and animated it. No, you you have under fair use. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. It, they fought it. It came back on legally though. If Toy must know something, and don't they don't like yeah, I it? I don't know. No, it's like I don't know. I don't, I don't know. About it. It's because companies submitted it. all the time those claims because there's no repercussions. Like if you submit a false claim, it like YouTube system automatically like will yeah. like delete your monetization, and then the company will get any of your money that like from ads and stuff. It automatically starts going to them, and let's say YouTube finds out, oh wait, that was a false claim. And it restores your monetization. Yeah. You don't get any of that money back that you lost during that time period. Um, Obviously, it sounds happens. like they pissed off toy. No, it happens. Like I was saying, multiple yeah. channels are getting hit it. like this and get take down. Some people are getting hit with their own stuff. Like there was one yeah, person who got hit it. before copyright and music, and he didn't even use the song in his video. And yeah, so, and then he contacted the person. He contacted the person who the song they said that he took or whatever, and he was like. Um, I, my company never mm. set, submitted anything to YouTube. We mm. didn't have a problem. I think YouTube. YouTube uses specific algorithms to hunt and, and find stuff. <coughs> yeah. Now, I don't know. whether or not, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't, I'm not, I'm not yeah, enough I really don't know. I mean, it's, I don't know. that sucks. We've even had some, my comment. Sucks. We've had our stuff taken down before. <laughs> well, yeah, sure, we, we, we had a, we had a complaint yeah. against us. No, we're not talking about that one. It's happened in the past and stuff too. Oh, but it was all anime stuff, right? Yeah. And I actually had permission to use it. I, I don't know enough to speak to it, so. Sorry, I can't go on that avenue with you, buddy. <laughs> I don't know enough that's over outside of my understanding. So. All right, then I guess I'll switch. All right, now I'm going to talk about, in still under like anime, Funimation recently, or I think, just, yeah, today, this morning, announced that they're going to be uh, launching a Kickstarter to um, gauge fans' interest and also help fund the uh, redub of the Visions of Escaflone anime series. And so, I think this is great. Like, I'm not a big fan of the series, but the the thing that this can do for the actual dubbing industry in, like, North America, if this is successful, is actually something that I'm excited about. And they own the rights, right? Yeah. Like, they, they own it. They, the initial thing was that they keep having people, like, in their statement, they were saying people um, constantly talk about, like, in forums and, like, at cons and stuff, how they want them to redub. Because uh, the original people who dubbed it was Bandai Entertainment, mm -hmm. um, so the people were wanting like a redub of it, and uh, Funimation has materials and stuff that's not fitting, doesn't fit in properly to the current dub, and so they want if they're going to release it, they want to do a new dubbing of it, but 
they want to de- test and see if it's even worth it, if people are actually interested in it, and also to help get it funded. They said they could basically do it without, they could fund it if they wanted to, but they want to use this as an experiment to see kind of like how it goes. And so in the future, if this is successful, I think it will lead to more companies dubbing the stuff that we might want to be dubbed in English, but the companies ever do because they don't think it'd be a commercial success and they're kind of wasting their money. So, I mean, I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean, I don't like to pay for stuff. If you, you I honestly don't like to pay. Well, I don't like to I'm pay. Sure I don't like to do, pay the company and then have to turn around and buy it again. Well, no, you would probably end up buying the movie. Like, okay, it's a series or a movie? Series. It's a series. It's you, like 24 episodes, I think. Or I mean, you probably end up I mean, you could donate, of course, but I'm sure there's a link in there that you would get. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I, you know, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I don't know how the rewards are going to be set up. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it officially. But I mean, it if it's just money, if it's just money f- to expand upon an idea of doing it, nah, fuck that. No, but like, if you, if, if, if it's you funded, something... they're doing it. Yeah, but I'm but not going to give them money them just to have them do it and then have to buy it again. It, a reward would specifically have to be to buy I need to get the 24 episodes. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. Doing. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Well, I'm sure since this is a Kickstarter, uh, yeah, it I will know. have the... Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. I, I, you know, I don't know. As I, long as you're giving me what I want, I don't care. Yeah, I guess that's the easiest way to look at it. You, you, you know, if you if you you fund something, I mean, you, you, you follow something by funding it, right? You know? We, it's kind of the same function behind the DLC stuff. You know, if you don't want to, you don't want the DLC, you don't want them to keep making DLC, stop buying it. Yeah, you know. So if you want them to make this, pay for it. Buy it. I mean, does this I guess have a huge sense. fan base? Yeah, Escaflone yeah. had a big. Oh, was it Escaflone or Evangelion? Yeah. Escaflone. In that case, it'll probably big. get funded. So and then anime followers typically. How much like are they asking? Pay. We don't know yet. The total, oh. like the total, is going to be under fifty thousand. Uh, okay. Which is possible. That's yeah. I, I don't even think that's the full. They said that's not the the actual cost of the production because they, mm-hmm. they can't release that hmm. because of contract and stuff. Yeah. Um, but like I'm excited for it mainly because, and I think in my opinion, Funimation has actually changed a lot of how the anime industry is here in the U.S. by doing stuff like the broadcast dubs where you get it at the same time with either either at the same day or like a couple days after in English here in the U.S or even subbed in the U.S. as they're getting in Japan, so you don't have to wait months to actually see the show. Um, like and once they, they started that. Well, you know, when you think about that, they did that on purpose. That wasn't really a benefit for the f- consumer. You know, it, yeah, was a, it was more of a benefit for them to stop down piracy. But then it also, but it affected the consumer yeah. positively, and yeah. it's also caused other companies now, like yeah, Viz. It makes sense. Um, Viz. It makes perfect sense. It's uh, a good Google business else. practice. And Aniplex and stuff, too. Um, like a lot of the companies... Do now do the broadcast dub type system? It makes sense. Okay. It's it's get give the consumer what they want as fast as you can, so they'll pay for it. If you don't give it to them as fast as they can, they pay for it. They will find it, particularly with something like a media like video, and they will da- they will do it illegally. And then so now since like all these different things that they kind of put out there starts to change how people are able to get their their media. Uh, especially in the anime, at least. So with this, if this gets funded and like other companies start following, um, there's a ton of shows that I would like to see dubbed in English that aren't as huge as like some of the bigger name um, ones are. So now the companies will have a chance to um, more of a risk-free chance of dubbing something. It can be positive because they can put it out there. If it gets funded, then they have the money to I, I produce it, and they know people will buy it. If it doesn't get funded, then they still have the sub version. They don't have to dub it. That's true. Now, I'll, I'm gonna put Sounds this, like a win-win. I'll put it this way. I think anime fans, like yourself, would totally be for this and not really care. But, like, there's a really bad stigma with Kickstarting. Like, you're doing a Kickstarter when you're a company. Do you know what I mean? Like, a lot of people see... When you're an established company. Yeah. Like, yeah. Sony doing the whole Shinmu thing. Yeah. Like, that left a bad taste in people's mouth. And, and you know... And they got, but they got funded. They got funded. But my deal is, is like with that, I think you know your animated community is so so strong because they love anime, of course. Um, and you have you kind of have to. I agree anime. with you in that standpoint. If you're an established company, I don't see why you would ask for the help. But, but, different but types anime, of media. anime is different though. Yeah, like yeah. Anime, what I'm saying is like anime is not as big as obviously like you know, network games. television. Network television. Let's, let's use Netflix as an example. 
paying for the rights to have to watch a TV show, an American show, completely di- different than having to, you know, probably fly to Japan and have negotiations there to to get that content. And it's expensive and it's pricey, and you don't have the viewership as say. Big Bang Theory, Big Bang Theory, I'll use that as an example as a really popular TV show here versus what's kind of a popular anime uh, show that's... Lobbing is Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan, right? Here's Big Bang Theory's um, viewing audience, right? Mm-hmm. Here's Attack on Titans. Yeah. And Attack on Titan is huge. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, there's... And I don't see that, that ever shifting or even getting close to being no. equal. no. Anytime soon. Because Big Bang Three appeases to the masses. But it's not—it's not even that. It's just—I mean, you could probably talk to ten of your friends, you know, and be like, "Do you know what anime is?" And I'm sure a few of them would be like, "Never heard of it, or I don't watch." Or it. never seen it. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I mean, it's just not that mainstream yet. And until it gets even mainstream, they're not, they're not putting in the re- pulling the revenue in yeah. to be able to fund every little thing they do. Money makes the world go around. Well, something got. Taken back from Funimation not too long ago, and it was literally due to just the cost of, of the. Oh, like they had a bunch of, there's a bunch of their license uh, licenses that they let go. Basically, the license ran out, and they decided sure. not to renew it. And uh, a lot of it is probably financial reasons because it's just too much to keep it for the amount of money you'll probably get back from it. Mm-hmm. It's because you usually they make their money initially when they release their Blu-rays and stuff. No, I think they make their money in, from. From the, uh, the the swag and the, the merchant the merch the merch. merchandise, and also I think on online stuff is like their ad advertising. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like that's that's what I was like. This could be a benefit for, like I know what you're saying about if it's an established company asking for money, it could be. I just say people have with, a bad taste in with their mouth. Anime, I think since it's such a low revenue, um, uh, such a low revenue type of. Uh, system set up like where you have to make money off of other stuff sure that Kickstarter is a good means mean? for people to go to you make, you're not making money off of the show you're making it off merch no, no he's talking about what the person watching y'all and hitting he oh, heist, heist, heist heist GT oh he misspelled it oh, okay. um, um, but, uh, yeah, so it gives them because there's just tons of shows that are great like My Little Monster so yeah. funny touching just hilarious show that's on like Netflix and Crunchyroll and stuff like that and it really deserves a dub but most people probably haven't even heard of it even though it's a fantastic show but if they put it on Kickstarter like the fans of it would probably fund that to get actually dubbed and then huh. the company doesn't have to worry about but you're basically saying the exact same thing we said we said anime fans would definitely be cool. I know, but I was well. He like I was just saying why it is a good thing though, because you're saying like I agree it's with a you. bad taste. It could be a bad taste, but I'm like with anime. Oh no, I was just different. kind of I was kind of explaining the parallels of of, of big corporation network stuff, like hmm. how that would never work, but it would work for anime fans. I, I, In my I, personal opinion, I don't. I mean, I'm we'll really see. Yeah, I'm not gonna see what CBS trying to kickstart a new pilot yeah, show. like a Big Bang Theory spinoff. I'm like, <laughs> what the hell? Little you're Bang CBS. Theory. Your CBS, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Little bang hypothesis. I mean, the amount of money. I mean, like literally, that's probably why. Like, if Funimation ever wanted to like try to talk to NBC, ABC, CBS, they'd be like, <laughs> "Well, <laughs> that's uh, cute." Universal actually is now one of their their distributor. For if I remember correctly, like they partner with uh, Universal now to uh, distribute their be their distributor. Hmm. Well, that's cool. Hey, Universal can put we'll some see, money behind but it. This is all speculation, so... So we'll see if it happens, right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. All right, what else? Anything else? Well, let's end on what we're watching and the... You know, I, I gotta go with this. Uh, and what we're playing and what we're you know reading. Um, let me start. So I'm a big Full House fan. <laughs> I, I own the box set. I own the house. It's sitting over there. <laughs> it's like, what? The, uh, the house that came with all the DVDs. I've been to the house. I've seen the house in San Francisco. Uh, but I'm going to tell you right now, Fuller House just released yesterday on the 26th. And um, the reviews have not been kind. Well, there's a reason why the Olsen twins didn't sign back up. Oh, they were smart. Yeah. They were super smart. Yeah. Um, Fuller House, in the first episode, turned me off the whole show. I, I won't watch it. <laughs> it is so fucking bad. Really? It was so bad that, like, you know, the laugh track doesn't help. Um, 
Laugh tracks only the, like normal. The, the trying to just take joke after joke after joke from the, the from original the 90s. series. Yeah. It doesn't translate well. They're not treating they're not treating it smartly. Like I hear uh, uh, was it uh, Boy Meets World Boy meets, but Girl Meets Girl Meets World Girl Meets World. Girl World is kind of it's, it's good be, it's better yeah, it's, it's good it's, it's a it's, nice they, little they obviously continue. knew that what they were doing in this right. one this one just was like it looked like they went through an old script and was like okay that's a catchphrase that's a catchphrase <laughs> that's a catchphrase and they throw so much shit. you got it dude they throw, <laughs> throw so much shit at you in the first episode that literally like i did this thing where i was looking over and people were watching with me every joke i was like didn't just oh and you would think it would be it, it would be kind of cute and like nostalgic, but they fucked it up so bad. <laughs> um, Should have left it alone. And like I we you know I gave it one more episode and, and tried to watch the second one, which was a little better in the fact that you know I think they had to continue on with whatever plot that they're the the plot is essentially the flip, you know. So instead of three men, it's three three women uh, raising kids. Uh, it's just terrible. It's terrible. Like, hmm. well, I, I, I won't be watching it. You got at least try no, the first episode. I won't. <laughs> You're going to watch the first episode, right? Probably not. Okay. I wasn't really planning on watching it. Watching the series. Yeah, no. I'm not. What are you not. watching? Well, last night, uh, you know, I marathon some anime, like Tokyo, ES, Tokyo ESP. <laughs> what? I mean, it was, what? I didn't feel like playing any games. Though. No, I mean, I, I I figure, and I could be wrong, that your general form of entertainment, media-wise, is just anime. Pretty much, yeah. Um, or comedies. So, like, um, like Bill Burr and uh, Louis C.K., like two of my favorites. Uh, but, yeah, last Funny. night, uh, or currently watching Tokyo ESP, and so I'm at, on the last episode of that. Um, oh, Supernatural. That's an actual non-anime show. There you go. Show. I knew you were watching one, that. Uh, mm-hmm. I've been marathoning it, and I've just recently got to like episode two of season six nice. out of ten seasons. And there's like 11 seasons actually on TV uh, now, but there's ten seasons on YouTube. Uh, on YouTube? And I, guess, I still got to go through what I'm actually watching. I'm full of fucking ass. Um, and then I'm about to start back reading um, Attack on Titan. I need to go and read my uh, gangsta. Right, so you read it ahead of? Yeah, like um, I think I'm already on. Because, yeah, the second season doesn't start until I think later on this year. Um, but, yeah, I'm way past the stuff that happened in the actual season one of the anime. Mm-hmm. Um, and then mm-hmm. gangsta. I'm going to go watch. Gangsta. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to read that. And then my Trigun. I need to complete the Trigun series manga. That Have I, you ever watched it too? Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 not that out. I couldn't get into it, I just haven't finished it. I love mm-hmm. it. So, uh, the good stuff that I'm watching, and I mean, some of you might kind of find that subjective. I don't know why I, we got done with Jessica Jones, and it was really good, and so I'm just kind of on that superhero kick. So, uh, you know, of course, when it comes to TV, uh, DC really kind of owns the small screen, while Marvel kind of owns the big screen. Um, I decided to watch The Flash, and out of the blue, it was on Netflix, the first season anyway, and I marathon binge watched that like in a week and it was great i really enjoyed it uh which obviously got me into arrow so i started watching arrow not done with the first season yet but i'm really enjoying the show um 11 23 fantastic stephen king jj abrams it's on hulu um jessica don't need to watch that. it is what's it called fantastic. 11 Based off of the Stephen King Stephen novel. King novel. Is that the one where they're going back to try to not stop the, stop the assassination of JFK? Yeah. Oh, with, with uh, James, Franco. James Franco. Yeah, I, that just premiered, didn't it? Fantastic. Yeah, it, uh, two weeks ago. So uh, they're releasing them every Monday. So it's an it's eight-part Netflix. series. So six Hulu. more weeks. Hulu. Six more weeks, and um, I mean hmm. Monday can't get here fast enough because it's really. Shows I might watch off that. The hook. I have been I've been wondering. And they're feature length. I mean they're like an hour and forty oh, minutes or never something. Never mind. Really? Yep. You lost me right that there. Long? Yeah. You, you lost me right there. And do you know? Mm. Two, oh, eight altogether. Oh, no. That won't be watching that one. Two, you, you had me when I was like thirty minutes to an hour, but you said two hours. <laughs> no. <Nope. What? laughs> that that really ruins yeah, you? Yeah. Even if it's a really amazing I won't story? sit there. That's like watching a movie over and over. But you again. go see 
uh, over and over again. They're new episodes. But no, I, I guess <laughs> why I can't watch what is it? Elementary? Not Elementary, but uh, Sherlock. I tried to watch Sherlock. Everybody talks about how Benjamin Sherlock Benjamin is, is is amazing. An hour and a half. It's good. Down. It's is good. It hour and a half. It's hour and a half. Every episode is hour and a half. Yeah, you, you, it's good. Though. And it feels like I, an hour I can and do that. Though. Like I can say, you know, with Sherlock. No. Oh, I can set that. It's and watch three like episodes a season, five guys. Five hours of. We're not talking. Well, I started watching Luther, which is also like that. Just Lucifer? Like a, what? No, Luther. Luther. BBC. Oh. Yeah, BBC. Oh. Idris, Idris Elba. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I tried, and I was like, "Oh gosh, it's an hour and a half." And the whole, the whole time, I was like, "We've only made it fifteen minutes. We've only made it thirty minutes." <laughs> then obviously, the show just isn't captured. That's why you don't marathon. I mean, you go see movies all the time. <laughs> yeah, movies are fun. It's in the theater. It's an experience. I like that. I can't. When I'm at home, I sit in front of the TV maybe an hour. You like, rubbing your nipples? The longest I sit in front of the TV. Cold in here. The longest I sit in front of the TV is an award show, which like the Oscars or the Academy or the Grammys. That's the I longest I'll that. sit. I don't sit in front of the TV longer than an hour. Even when I'm playing my games, I don't sit down in my home for longer than an hour to watch TV. So anything longer than that is really hard for me to do. I mean, so Sunday is my interested day. Interested in it? Like, you're like I'm going to so, fucking binge watch well, you, something. But you guys know me. I have a lot of pent up energy that I have to release. I thought so. I was going to say aggression. So, uh, <laughs> um, okay, I'm fight something. <laughs> so I clean. You know, I do things. If if it requires me to sit down and watch it for longer than an hour, I can't do it. So I was super excited about that. And now I probably don't watch it, but that's okay. And then it, and I try to binge like you guys do. Like I will binge a show, and I can I can't I can't accomplish accomplish that. I can binge a show, but usually by the time I binge a show, if there's a second season, I won't watch it because I've binged myself out and I've burned myself out on that show. I can't get burned out off of good stuff though, I, like good story. I, like you didn't like Daredevil, which I'm still kind of. Like. I didn't dislike Daredevil by the time because I binged it. By the time I got to where they blew up the city, I was like, I'm bored with this. I just got bored with it because I had seen too much of it. So that's just, weird. It's like it's like it's so good that I can't stand to watch it anymore. <laughs> I can't look at it. Uh, no, my I've gotten breaks. bored with it. I can't. Whatever. I can't. I think you were completely not the binge watching part, but I think you were kind of the odd man out on the whole like not being able to watch a show if it's really good just even because it's an hour and forty I, minutes. I get I get bored like with things like if they they take too long. That's why you never finish video games. That's true. I get bored with them. Like, I can love the game. Like, unless you're something... Like, I loved Nino Kuni. Like, I loved that game. I had 60-something hours in that game. And all of a sudden, I was like, mm, okay. I can't really say much because I did the same. You go on the shelf. I don't know you why. Know? I, I got right to the end of the game. Like, I mean, I could literally stroll up to beat it. And then I just sat... It just sat on my shelf. And I got <laughs> busy or something. Yeah. And I couldn't... Like, I... <laughs> Isn't that weird? <laughs> like the one game he pulls out of his ass. I'm like, fuck, I did that too. <laughs> and I got 80 hours into it, or some 80 plus. And I really liked it. Oh, it was a great game. I can't wait for the second one. The sequel's going to be good. I'll have to just watch somebody beat the end. I think I'm going to start doing that. I think I'm just going to start watching the cutscenes on YouTube. I'm like, oh, I beat that one. Well, that's I kind played of the it easy way. somebody else beat it. Like some DLC that I don't want to pay for, like Tomb Raider had uh, the which one? I don't remember what it was called, uh, and I was like, eh, "I ain't paying ten bucks for right that now." Shit. Really, the only thing that uh, that I play is Destiny, which is odd because you know I hated it for a while. Uh, it's it hard to so we can play. Just I need to fucking watch. Excuse me, sorry. I need to watch Naruto. Oh, I just got to. I have been watching it. I've been trying to binge it, and I watch one or two episodes a night, and um, that's been. Oh, I need to buy the Walking Dead, uh, Michonne. Thank you guys for reminding me of that. Had nothing to do with what you're saying, but I was just thinking of games to play. Um, but I did watch Guy, Guy's backstory, Guy Sensei's backstory and his father. So I'm getting there. I'm moving further along. So, Dude, those Telltale games, the Walking Dead games are fucking amazing. They are good. They're so really good. So the Michonne, yeah, I'm buying Wait, that. wait, what? Because they, they weren't any of the Rick people in the Telltale games that I have. Have they made it that far now? No, it's the new side, this new game is Walking Dead Michonne. Um, it's in the same, like... Universe, a series, obviously, because you of see... Of the two other Telltale games, see, um, one and two? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Oh. I mean, different, like... You well, know, it doesn't matter, I won't play it anyway. It's longer than an hour, so... Uh, yeah. Well, but anyways, yeah, it's this is going to be Michonne's story, so that's going to oh, be Oh, that might be neat. neat. Hmm. I like Michonne, she's badass. But, yeah, so neat. Uh, I beat Deadpool right before they got over here, or right as they got over here. It was fun. You bought that on Amazon for 20 bucks, right? Yes, sir. And uh, it was frustrating, but I beat it. Did take uh, probably had like six hours in it. Mm. What's what? the turn? 
what playing or watching or what everything. Okay. I'm not really playing anything. Well, Destiny, because Iron Banner time. So, Ooh, um, I can't Destiny and Iron Banner. That. Oh, it's the best thing ever because I love online. I like to beat people. I don't like stories. So, you bought uh, the. Taken King? Taken King and all that. I traded in my old one and got Taken King for like 35 bucks, I think. Um, so, I traded that in. I'm now at the level to where I can actually do the Iron Banner and actually win. So, that's Who really. Who do you play fun. with? Uh, I play with some coworkers and then just random people online. Hmm. So. Um, that one's fun, so that's what I'm playing. That's really the only thing I'm playing. Street Fighter, uh, want to love it, but it's so freaking hard. Um, I am definitely have lost my fast twitch skills when it comes to fighting games because I just get frustrated. When, and this is the game that makes me want to punch things. Um, so was trying to play that. It didn't really work out too well. Um, I yeah, and um, that's the only. That's really all I'm playing. Um, Watching on TV? <laughs> yeah, right. Um, trying to catch up on Naruto, I guess. I do have Naruto. I haven't opened it. I have. I mean, I haven't played it. I installed it. So, um, but I got to get caught up on the anime first, um, so I can then understand what's going on in the game. What uh, it's like, it's what season does that co collect with? Uh, season co eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Season eight. Damn. Season eight. Yeah. Uh, what? Season eight of Shippuden. The game. That's season eight of Shippuden. Yeah. Like, I remember the original Naruto, and I watched the hell out of that. I it's thought really that eight crazy. seasons of Naruto? This this game is this game is taking place right after season eight. Oh, I thought you were saying it is season eight. I was like, I thought there was more than season eight. Yeah, season yeah eight. this is up to the very end of Naruto, the entire series. Well, uh, let me rephrase. They are on season eight, <laughs> and I think this is yeah, so mixing this, in with season eight. Fact, like, I've read the, the complete series ended, like, in the mm -hmm. manga and stuff, mm -hmm. and this starts during the war... And it goes all the way to the very end of the. So this is a starting point of Naruto. I got about here, dude. <laughs> so so if I played this game, I'd know what was going on. To yeah. Catch up with the manga. Yeah, like the story uh, mode actually is done really well to where even if you already know what's it? going on, yeah, um, even if you already know what's going on, it does it to where you don't feel like oh my god they're telling me this again. And then if you don't know what's going on, you're like oh I can understand what's going on now. Hmm. So well, that's good to know. I really liked it. Yeah, I'd be like the. And I, I'm so reading, yeah, I'm reading, prison school. Like so, yes, I took a page out of Willie's book. This is actually a manga. Oh, I was like, I didn't. So this is actually a manga. <laughs> he ripped a page out of yours, <laughs> asshole. And, You're never gonna uh, know how it ends. <laughs> and um, I actually really, really liked this series on uh, Funimation. I really liked this series. So uh, Amazon had a super, super cheap version of uh, number one. Number one, so I bought it. It inclu and includes eighteen chapters. Yes, yeah. eighteen chapters. So it's a pretty thick manga for me. Because all the ones I usually see are small. So it's basically the trade service. paperback of of, of of prison school. Yeah, well, not the whole thing, but yeah. So and it actually holds true to the anime, and well, I guess the anime holds true to the manga since the manga mm -hmm. was first, and the live action holds true to the anime and the manga pretty closely. Yeah, so, it is a fan service. Yes, very show. much so. But it's fun. Um, I haven't really gotten very far in the uh, manga because I do like colors in my comic books. And he's and been coloring each in it. Pam, I, I have. have. It's, a do yeah. yourself, it's a do it yourself comic. So, yeah, it didn't work for me, so I cover it. Just like the Mega Man bucks. Right? So, Anyways. Well, yeah, so that's all I'm doing. So That's, that's it for me. Same here. So, nothing else you want to add to it? Nope. I gotta go do some street passes because it's uh, 20 years of Pokemon, so I'm sure they got some street passes going on my 3DS. So, McDonald's, here I come. Get my street passes. All right, so. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh so much. Uh, all right, this, is <laughs> this, this has been another episode of the Nerdgasm Channel podcast. Uh, thank you for listening. If you like what you heard, uh, share it with your friends, check us out on all of our other social networks. Um, all the links will be in the podcast description. And if you're not following us, follow us and subscribe. Tell your friends about us. We want to grow, and we love to hear from you. So, and make yeah. sure you're watching in July. Hopefully, we'll have a way to stream or podcast uh, Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con. Oh yeah, yeah. Jones is going to that. I'm going to Acon, so maybe we can do both. Yeah, that'd be cool. All you right. cosplaying? No. I just look at the cosplay. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, this is Willie, aka Unofficial Ninja, Zach Romeo 313, Jules, Fade Alexander. 
See y'all later. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.